Hello, everyone, and uh, welcome on this uh, fine uh, Thursday uh, afternoon. And today I will talk about something that I see uh, often here uh, in my office. And it's uh, people come to me for because they define themselves as a uh, people pleaser, right? Um, these crave compliments or um, they don't express their own opinions, uh, they're unable to say no, um, and they will put everybody else ahead of themselves. And all that, no, all that in an effort to be loved or uh, to, be, to be liked by uh, other people. And after a while, it brings a resentment in, in the person, no? And um, it has an impact also uh, on, their, uh, on their relationship um, as well, because it might, because you always want to please all the time, you might push people away as well, so it kind of defeat uh, the purpose. And after a while, you also forget who you really are. You forget what you like, what you don't like, many bothers <laughs> the same problem. Uh, so you forget what you like, what you, you, what you don't like. Um, you cannot be your own authentic self because you think that if you are your own authentic self, you won't be lovable, you won't be uh, likable. And you, you, usually people do that because well, probably something in childhood, what else? No, uh, could be uh, attachment problems or uh, overly critical uh, parents or whatever. And that person develop that strategy to be loved and to be liked. And also it dates, predates long, long time ago, you know, in primitive society, or any kind of society, communities, you needed to be nice, you be needed to fit in in the community. Because if you were not, you were banished. And being banished means usually death. <laughs> because you need, like they say, they need a, you need a village to... Uh, so it, banishment means, no, death. So people did it... Uh, to survive in a sense, um, to a certain point, uh, obviously. But it boils down to, and this, this, this time, is insecure thinking. It's insecure thinking. You don't feel secure in the fact that you're lovable, that you're likable, just as you are. There's nothing wrong with you you're born with everything you only think that you're not lovable you only think you're not likable that's only insecure thinking and then you think that you have to bend over backwards to fit in and then you totally forget who you really are and it's a lie actually the the you that you present is a lie because it's not your own authentic self. And after a while, it does bring resentment. Now, if you say yes instead of saying no, after a while, it does bring resentment. And that will affect your relationship as well. And also, when you do something to be likable or to be lovable, it's like you're giving your power to somebody else. Do you really want to give other people that, that much power over you? You don't have to give away uh, uh, your power. It's okay. It's okay to, to want to be nice. No, there's nothing wrong with wanting to be nice. We all do that. And that usually shows up in... Um, being uh, respectful of other people, honoring other people's uh, emotions, 
that's okay. But when for people pleaser, it becomes, it's just more than just wanting to be nice. Um, it's taking, thinking that your worth, you see your worth through somebody else's eyes. And again, you give other people your power, but you don't want that. Oh, it belongs to you. So the way that people perceive you, it belongs to them. This one belongs to you. Now, if you see 50 people uh, in a day, you'll have 50 version of you uh, living in 50 heads. <laughs> huh? And you have no control over that. No, and the way you see, they'll see you is again, no, with their beliefs, uh, the way they feel at that moment has nothing to do with you. So yes, you can be respectful. That's okay. It's not okay, okay to be nice, but to bend over backward, to say yes when you want to say uh, no, um, defining your, your word through somebody else or if you carry on dating someone that you know is wrong for you or you don't even love but then you're afraid of um, hurting their feelings and then you stay in the shitty relationship no who's who's hurting at the end you are and we all have one live to life to live well probably more than one but that's the one you're living now no <laughs> as well Take advantage of it and live from. Yeah, the life is like uh, is made to live, but according uh, to your own path. Your own path belongs to you. This doesn't belongs to to anyone else. Everybody has their own path. And that reminds me a, a quote by. Um, the late Wayne Dyer. And that quote is, people who want the most approval get the least. And people who need approval the least get the most. And that's usually true. So maybe something to, to remember when you want to buy a bag over backwards for uh, for somebody else uh, just for their uh, approval um, because in the end you become invisible you become a shadow of yourself and for sure on your deathbed uh, what you remember is that you forget to live according to your own truth according to who you really are so step one is realizing that you're doing it. So that's why people come to see me. They realize that, oh, shit, that doesn't work uh, anymore. To realize that it's okay to be you. Everybody else is taken. So may as well be you. No, you're, there's only one of you uh, with your own capacities, uh, like, dislikes, whatever. There's only one of you. So may as well be you. Um, And you don't have to be a prisoner no, for to get somebody else's approval. No, because when you bend over backwards, like I said, you give away your, your, your power, you're kind of a prisoner. And you get your freedom back. You don't have to believe, with, oh, I'm worthless unless I feel loved. That's a lie that you're telling yourself. That's insecure thinking because you're born with everything that you need. You're born lovable. There's nothing wrong with you. And as soon as you realize that, you'll let go of that negative people pleasing behavior. You might have some pushback in the beginning. I know people that you used to uh, push you over might have some resistance to the new you, but they get used to it. Oh, they fall off your, your life. And that means that they were just not your friends to start with. 
So that's all I have to tell you today. And on that, I wish you a, a good, good week and uh, see you next, next week. Cheers.